Welcome to Stu Leonard's in Norwalk, Connecticut. You're strolling down the aisles shopping for some groceries when you stumble upon an elderly stranger with a question. Excuse me, could you help me with something? Could you read this for me, please? Should I try this? Make that a few questions for anyone who walks by. Does this seem right to you? What is an antioxidant? She's old and alone and really just wants to talk. What does gluten-free have to do with anything? But how many questions is too many? I'm just so confused. What would you do? Excuse me, could I ask you a question? Do you know, you know, they're all talking about... Gluten? Ah, yes, gluten. At first, we think he's about to hand her off to a nearby employee. Well, I don't work here, by the way. No, I mean, you're a person that yes. shops. But the relentless Linda quickly sets him straight and lures him back in. Now, do these all have antioxidants? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, especially the Barry family. The Barry family? Linda is interested in much more. What does gluten really mean? Do you know? It's, um, it doesn't contain wheat, rye, or barley. Oh. I can't even see. John O'Connor walks around the store reading all that fine print just to help out a little old lady. But they have it like in things like this even. Um, I'm going to have to charge it pretty soon. This next guy seems like he'd be willing to pay Linda to leave him alone. Could I just ask you a question? You have a second? I'm trying to figure out the difference. I'm I mean, not really sure. do you buy salad oil? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Sorry. What is kettle chips? I'm not sure. He tries to walk away again and again, but Linda just won't stop. Can you tell what is a ripe one of these? I do not. Have, I do not. Do you like mangoes? mangoes? Yeah, no, I don't. Do you ever eat them? No. When I was a little kid once for a science class, they told us to cut them open. You remember how you talked about the pistol and the stamen? I blew up like a balloon. As the day goes on, just about everyone is polite to our chatty grandmother. This is anti something. Yeah, antioxidant. Okay. Including this man, who seems endlessly patient with the loquacious Linda. 25% of the sodium you should have for the day? Well, that'll kill us. It didn't kill us yet, though, did it? No. <laughs> you could die with a smile on your face or die with a frown on your face. Mm. Why die with a frown? So we wondered, what will people do if someone is being downright mean to the lovely Linda? So we send in Brett playing Linda's son, who pretends he's been waiting impatiently outside. Mom, oh, let's I, go. I I'm have... so sorry. Look, this cart, she came in for a loaf of bread. Yeah, but I do that all the time, too. When you get beer, your wife will do the same thing to you. Yeah. She talks too much. She just wanders around. If you're living by yourself and you don't have anybody to talk to and you get a chance to talk to people, believe yeah. it, it's nice. You're embarrassing me. Again and again, shoppers stand up for this elderly stranger. Just leave it's me alone. It's ridiculous. It's Thanks to your mommy. She gave birth to you. She's completely embarrassing. Me. No, she's not. She's a lovely person. You're going to be sad when you don't have her one day. Others try to teach the son some good old-fashioned manners. Ma, you got three loaves of bread here. What are you talking to your mother like that for? Mm. What's the matter with you? She doesn't know what you she's have a doing. Son, that doesn't matter. That, that's your mother. You don't have to live with her. You don't know. What was going through your mind? I was thinking about my mother. And everybody else is a mother. You understand? It's, it's a sad. For somebody to talk like that. Mm -hmm. So she had three breads. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. In case of snow, she's, you know, I, mean, I, I don't know. It was never easy. Finally, we meet Kim Grasso, who's willing to spend as much time as necessary with our inquisitive grandma. Excuse me, could I just ask you, it's hard for me to read. Sure. It, it has blueberry, my cart. strawberry, blackberry, natural flavors, organic coffee fruit. Natural What's coffee juice? fruit? I have no idea. It Never says it's gluten-free, though. Look at that. Oh, how do you like that? You've been really so nice. You know, like you ask questions, and everyone rushes off. Right. 
right. talk, you You're know? You're absolutely right. Yeah. Everybody's in a big rush. And no one is in more of a rush than Linda's son. Mom, what are you doing? Hi, Brooke. Hi, Kim. Oh, my God. We Listen. had the best conversation. I Right away, Kim tries to reason with Brett. She's just acting really stupid. She's losing her mind. She's, she's smiling. It's so embarrassing no, now. She, Guess what? Someday, we're going to be old. Your I can't. Cool. I can't deal with her anymore. No. I'm all by myself, yeah, taking you know care of her. I and a, I, I know I have a mother who has MS, and she's in a wheelchair. And I have a father who has Parkinson's. I have a double whammy in my life. Take it from me. It's very, very difficult. But. It's your parents, and someday your beautiful mother's not going to be here. I know. Kim Grosso calmly delivering some beautiful, loving advice. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm John Quinones. Oh my God. I look horrible. <laughs> no, you look great. You know what? That woman, I could cry. People don't take the time for people, they don't. Everybody is in a big rush, and people need to slow down, breathe in the fresh air and help the elderly. Someday, that will be me. Oh my gosh, and I'm all sweaty, I went to the gym. <laughs> the good people at Stu Leonard's, taking time out of their busy day to listen to a little old stranger. Because someday, if we're lucky, that might be us. Excuse me, could you help me with something?